want you to know that you will really know what is right for you when you listen to your emotions. Your emotions do not lie. Like it's a beautiful thing that we have as humans are these emotions because they will trigger and they will tell us if we're happy or not. They will tell us if we are depressed, if we are feeling um, like we're not getting something, if we are super happy, if we feel in alignment, if things feel like they're in synchronicity, our emotions always tell us what's going on in our life. And we have to listen to that because if you listen to that, that will be your best guide. It will tell you if you should stay or if you should go. Hi everyone, it's Cindy Eiler. I help you understand and transform your life. And today I'm talking about should you stay or should you go? How do you know what the right decision is? You know, people come to me all the time asking me questions on how to, what they should do with their life, if they should stay somewhere, or if they should stay with someone. Should they put up with it more? Should they try more? Should they stay with a job, leave a job? Should they live where they're living or try another place? I'm wondering, should I continue to do this, be with this person, stay at this place, or should I not? Like that's your first clue, right? It's kind of like the soulmate question. When someone says, is this my soulmate? Well, if you have to ask, you know, probably not so if you're asking the questions that that's your first clue that something is coming to you something is not feeling right in balance or um, yeah it's just something that you're questioning so if you're starting to just naturally question something then you have to start taking your cues now you have to realize that your intelligence as far as your emotions especially. These are your intuition. This is your soul whispers talking to you. We do have a destiny, okay? How we, how we manage that destiny and how far we get with that destiny depends on us. So it's not like we come here and we just, like we're walking like robots and playing out some destiny. We have choices, we have decisions to make this, you know, how we're gonna do it, if we're gonna make it easier on ourselves, if we're gonna make it harder on ourselves, if we're gonna choose to learn a lesson, if we're gonna choose to respect ourselves, what, you know, all different kinds of things that we're here to make a decision as to how we're gonna live our life and how we're going to reach our destinies. But, um, you know, you have to realize that a lot of the ways you feel are your intuition talking to you? It is your higher guidance talking to you, whether you know you believe in God or God's various names or the universe or the angels, your guides, you're always getting little whispers and you're also your heart is whispering to you where that is your soul, that's your soul connection deep in your heart. So when you start questioning things, you have to start realizing, well, if I'm questioning this, then I probably need to pay attention. Okay, and why am I questioning it? And you only start questioning something when you are realizing that it's not really in alignment with where you are, how you think. You start like, that kind of doesn't feel right. Or, you know what, I can't change, I changed my mind about how I feel about that. I've grown, I don't believe this stuff anymore. So there's all kinds of reasons why you might start questioning it, why you've changed, but we should be changing. We, we should, you know, having our evolution and shifting and learning and growing. Like the things that I believe now are different from what I believed even eight years ago, you know, and forget about 10 or 20 years ago. And what about the things our parents and our teachers and our leaders have taught us? Like when we're younger, we just believed that 
they were right. Like they knew because they were the ones that were helping us to grow and understand what life was about. But as you know, and as you can see, even in the news, things get outdated, things change, people change, situations change, Ch the world changes. So you also change with that. And as the world shifts, it's only normal that you would shift too. And because we're all connected, everything is connected. Okay, so it would not make sense if you just stayed the same all the time. So even, I'll just give an example, and, and you can apply this to love, you can apply this to friendships, um, work, anything, children, anything. Just because you feel connected and love someone, so I'm gonna talk about a love relationship, right? So say you, you've been with this person a long time, you feel connected, but yet there's something now that just, I mean, it's not matching like it did before, or maybe you will, you let it match before because that's where you were and it was a good enough connection at that time. And, or maybe we listened to our parents that we needed to find someone and get married and have a family and buy a house and do all that stuff. And so, you know, we followed along, but maybe, you don't know why you feel different now. Like you could have spent your life building your life and you got it to a wonderful place. And then you're like, why am I not feeling like this is fulfilling me anymore? Why am I not feeling happy? Why don't I feel like I got to that place that I was working to get to? Or maybe you do feel at peace with it and feel good about it but you know that there's you're you're questioning questioning it so it's worth paying attention to why there's something in you that's shifted or changed and there's something more that you need or something different that you need and, and you know that's the tricky things about marriage and relationships are you know that you're dealing with two people two people who are from completely different backgrounds or they could be from similar backgrounds but you don't have the same parents you don't have the same upbringing so you're not always going to see the same way and maybe when you got together you were interested in the same things but as you grew you kind of changed with that too so and then sometimes people grow more spiritually while their partner doesn't really care about it um, and at first you know you deal with that because I've dealt with that in my relationships where both weren't on the spiritual track necessarily. Um, and then I got into my path and although they were open or he was open to it and would listen, it was pretty good about it, it wasn't that. But I was more wanting to be intentional and conscious about how I lived my life. Like I, you know, when we first met, we used to go hang out in bars and party and get drunk and have a good time. And then that didn't start resonating with me anymore. I realized that it sucked actually. I mean, it's fun to have fun once in a while. I don't mind having a drink once in a while and having fun. And I do do that once in a while, but not like a, a regular habit. And so I couldn't tell him to change because I changed, right? And I don't, I, my opinion is, I don't think anybody should ask anyone to change. For, the, for their own benefit. Like if you would just change, we would just be great. Like, no, that's not really good. He continued to do that stuff, go out, party and hang out with people that were like that. And then I was choosing to be around more people that were into spiritual stuff and bettering your life and being more healthy and thinking more healthy and focusing on my life and really just taking it to places where I felt better and high vibrational and higher energy, definitely. There's a difference between the energy of sitting in a bar and getting drunk or sitting in nature and enjoying the beauty and all the magic that's in nature. It's like completely different. So even though we got along and he was doing that and I was doing this and he liked to get in nature too. So it wasn't like we weren't doing the same things that sometimes we were, but I was holding, I was actually settling for, um, to be in his energy because he was holding a lower energy from hanging out in bars and people that get drunk and do all that stuff. And no offense. I liked the people. I liked him. I loved him. I loved the people he hung out with, but 
that vibration was much lower and much different from where I wanted to be. So as long as I was in that, I was bringing my vibration down a little bit to match having to be in that. At some point you make a choice, what's more important, yourself or that? And you know, you might say, well, I love this person and I'm gonna accept them. And I did that for a long time. But I'll tell you one thing, when I got out of it, I realized just how much it, that was a energy drain, just how much it was actually like it, he was a energy vampire because the energy that he couldn't hold was the, um, or he couldn't get to, he relied on me to suction it from me so he could feel better. And that was a big deal when I left because he didn't have, he couldn't, didn't have that hookup anymore. And it, I was better off because I didn't have to drain myself and constantly film myself to get to the point where I was going to feel good where, I, where I'm at. So, I mean, that's just a little um, example of, I mean, there's, this can be in, an, in a lot of different ways, but I want to go back to how do you know if it's right for you? And I think you're getting the picture just from the examples and things I'm telling you. But the point is, I want you to know that you will really know what is right for you when you listen to your emotions. Your emotions do not lie. Like it's a beautiful thing that we have as humans are these emotions because they will trigger and they will tell us if we're happy or not. They will tell us if we are depressed, if we are feeling um, like we're not getting something, if we are super happy, if we feel in alignment, if things feel like they're in synchronicity, our emotions always tell us what's going on in our life. And we have to listen to that because if you listen to that, that will be your best guide. It will tell you if you should stay or if you should go and you have to trust it. You know, if you feel like, you know what, I really know, in the heart and heart of heart of things. I know that my emotions are telling me that I would be better off leaving. Whatever that is, whether it's a, a relationship or a job or where you live or what you do, um, people you're hanging out with. And if you know in the heart of hearts that you just know that you would be better, and if that thought is coming to you, you have to listen to that because that's your intuition talking to you, that's your emotions talking to you, your emotions do not lie, okay? Um, then you know that's your decision. But then you have to be brave enough, then you have to love yourself enough to do what it takes to listen to how you're feeling. Because that's going to be the only thing that changes you. And you know, I just wanna add this in as just like a side note because this is something I've heard from a lot of my clients and it's just kind of funny to me. It's not funny, but it is kind of funny. Complain about, I don't know, their their relationship. And it'll be, you know, they're not doing this or they're not doing that. And you know, I, these people from over time, you know, they have nice relation, nice people in their relationships. It's not the person that they're so bad, but just relatable as you change and you grow, are they really in alignment with you? And how much are you settling just to be with this person, right? So they might complain about it, just normal complaints, but then they'll get to a point where they'll go, you know what, like they just have this epiphany and they say, um, I decided, you know what, I'm just accepting them for who they are. I'm okay, I mean, I love this person, I wanna be with them, so I just have to accept them. It's not up to me to judge them and say they should be different or they're not satisfying me. Like I'm the one that just needs to get okay with that and I'm, I'm just okay with it and I don't need to like address that anymore. And I just start laughing and they're like, what's funny? And it's just like, because I've, you know how many people I've heard that from? That's a common thing. Like, go through your path and then you get to that point at some point. And you're trying to find the being okay with where you're at. Because if you were to leave, that changes everything, right? It rocks your boat, it rocks your world, it changes everything. And yeah, it might be a hassle at first, but believe me, you are going to sail your boat to a much better place. And as long as you're settling, you're settling. And if you're settling in one area of your life, you're settling in every area of your life because how you do one thing is how you do everything, period, okay? So 
I laugh because they're okay with it at that point, but mark my words, life will go on and then that person's gonna do something again to totally irritate that person and they're gonna be back to that point of complaining again. They're not really going to accept it forever. They're not going to be okay with it forever. It just isn't. It isn't, it is what it is and you just have to stop being in denial about it. Otherwise you just go through this loop right? You, you go through this loop of being unhappy and then finding a place of being okay with it. And then you're okay for a while until it happens again. And then you're kicking yourself every time going, why didn't I do something last time? And then you're going to just keep going through that process around and around and around until one of two things. You either just keep doing it for the rest of your life and that's your choice. A lot of people make that choice. Not, I can't. That's for damn sure. Anybody who ever makes the choice to leave will never make that choice to stay like that ever. If they ever get in another relationship where it's anything that starts smelling like that, they leave. There's just no way. Once you learn to love yourself and stand up in who you are and why you're here and your happiness, you never give in again. It's the people that that give in and settle and continue to loop in that loop and continue to settle, that just continue to do that. And I'm sorry, but it sucks. Well, I'm not sorry, it's up to you, it's your life. But, um, you know, if you don't have to, to do that, why would you? That's my, my thing. And once you get through it one time, you'll never have to do that again because every time you smell that coming near you, you will never allow it again. And that just shows how much you really, really love yourself. And I believe we're here to love ourselves the most we possibly can and learn how to love and learn how to accept. Say, well, I'll just accept them. Then you're accept have to have acceptance, but this is a specific subject. And if you give in to that, then you're not loving yourself and you're not accepting yourself for who you are. So you might be accepting them, but you're not accepting yourself. So hello. The point is to know if you should stay or go. If you have to ask, if you heard yourself ask the question to begin with, it's something to pay attention to because it's a nudging from yourself, from your soul, from your higher power telling you that it probably is time or that something needs to change. But you have to know you can't change anyone. You have to change yourself. So if you can change yourself, in a way that's healthy and happy for you, that's really in your best interest and make it work great. But if you think that it has to, somebody else has to change, that's not the way and it, it will never work. So don't even bother really, honestly, that's another rabbit hole. But if your emotions are telling you that you're not happy, not fulfilled, something's wrong, something's changed, whether you know what it is or not, it's worth, exploring why you feel that and what you need to do. I help you understand your life and transform it. And so if you're interested in working with me, I work with people one-on-one -on -one in group settings over the internet, as well as travel to amazing places to really get the shift and gain the understanding and clarity and open parts of you that you've never seen before. That's what my uh, trips are about. Check me out on my website, cindyeiler.com. Send me an email, we can talk about it. And until then, pay attention to the thoughts that come to your head. Pay attention to what your emotions are telling you about yourself. Your emotions are always telling you the truth. And it's really important to listen and align with integrity and authenticity with who you are. And sometimes it takes knowing who you are because we change and we shift. And sometimes you don't even know because things have changed and you're not even sure. Well, I can help you with that. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. And I'm Cindy. I help you understand and transform your life. Peace.